Hey guys, what's up? Jessica Honesty here. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for watching my video when it comes to the pumpkin seed oil and also the peppermint oil. Um, I did a do-it-yourself video about a month ago talking about this method and how it works. I found it off of um, a do-it-yourselfer by the name of Farah and I wanted to try it for myself. So even last month I was seeing the result. Um, so as you can see from my last video how my hair was trying to get there. It was, it, it was getting there. It was doing its thing and so now when you look at it it comes right here to the nostril and it's just doing its thing in the back here um, it's so cute I love it and I'm having a good time with it so yes to those that are reaching out to me asking well did it work I'll let you be the judge so I'm very proud of um, how and what it's doing so far sometimes I just use the peppermint oil by itself and um, I love it but peppermint oil is one of the strongest essential oils and it has the potential of burning and putting scars on your scalp so you have to be careful if you decide to use it bare I'm not a professional when it comes to hair care I just see what works well for my hair and I I love it when you put it in your hair you massage it and you'll get the cooling sensation on your scalp sometimes it might be overbearing for me I love it it just makes me feel very refreshed and it also smells so good I love it at night I will put it in my hair and wrap it at night and you know wake up in the morning I fluff it on the side and I'm out the door but that's what works for me so again I want to say thank you so much <laughs> for watching my video um, so I hope this video is helpful and I wish you luck on your hair care journey Make sure you go to my page or you're already here. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, good luck with your hair care and I'll make sure to keep you updated with mine. Love you much.